Back, we are in round two of the winners with BIH versus Swift Uprising. Yeah, I'm excited to see this game. Um, what? Okay, holding off on the uh, TP there. I don't know why, just waiting to get into position. Um, so let's see, we do have the jet mid. Again, with the comps, I did say we were going to see Cypher and Sova in probably every game on both teams, so we're seeing that again here. And no um, Sage. Jet on both teams. Yeah, I think Sage is just... Get, get her, she's not in the meta anymore. No one's playing her. Um, the nurse two are too strong. There's other uh, more important picks now. Done. Just done so with the sage, so no wall in the mid, I guess. Says MEQ here, taking out Arcmain to start the round as we see an advance into mid. So and a bomb plane already. Yeah. Gee will take out Drizzly. It makes it a 4v4 here. It's going to be a western shootout in this uh, B building. I. I'm not mistaken. Is some of the cuts here are gonna be checked? No cab. Gonna peek. Turn. Go in. Oh, oh nice shot. Takes by out Nova MEQ King. as Rival Creed also turns. Oh, Droni trading one back. Oh. It's a trade back and forth. We have a two v one here. He's covering the de oh. defuse. The defuser is behind him. He needs to win this uh, gunfight here or just have enough time. Yeah, I think he knew there. Like constantly, you know, I'm gonna keep progressing towards the brimstone here and just deny him from getting out and trying to make a peek on the bomb. I know if I stall long enough, uh, you know, and just hold that corner, take some sh pre-fire shots in case he peeks and just keep pushing forward. So good play there. We did see a pretty aggressive push into mid from uh, MEQ uh, and it was a trade to uh, the Jets duking it out as they pushed into B Here. site. BIH off to a strong start here. So Jet taking the shorty here. Okay, Swift Uprising is up 1-0 against BIH. Okay. So Gee getting a kill on Jet there. I thought that was a unique um, strategy there to take the shorty. Shorty got nerfed um, as far as headshot goes. BIH with a nice plan here. Looking to defend it. As yeah. Natino and Arkman both getting trade kills. Arkman rushing in there. He had a he had the budget sniper and went in there. Yeah, and then he pulled out the classic for the for the right click. I'm Into telling you, classic. classic right click is actually broken in my opinion. I know they even nerfed it um, over the last couple patches to take away the you know it worked pretty similar to shotguns where if you were it aerial, you take a jump, it's still accurate. Yeah. So um, I think they ended up nerfing that because it was just too good to go around a corner. You know, as you swing a corner to do it while jumping and take the shots. So they nerfed that, but still, still strong. I remember you saying that uh, pistol right click, the yeah, classic it's right too click, good. Is, it's is, so good. It was good. As we see, arc main peak in mid. It looks like possibly an A look from BIH here. Yeah, so we do see a, a good high up angle by Rival Creed here, but this is a pretty common spot. So let's see how it works out for him. Just taking vision away from uh, sewers. Yeah, he's smoking that and holding it, so... Maybe most omens will smoke that, but not also be on top of the box, so maybe playing some mind games here. Oh, a turn from oh, Strony so right into the yeah, waiting Yeah, unfortunate. Rooms. Pulling the camera as you turn that corner while your gun is uh, not drawn is just kind of a misplay, I think. You, you know, he did have eyes on him. If he wasn't in the process of retrieving his weapon, or sorry, retrieving the camera, then he maybe gets that shot off and wins the, the fight. But instead, he kind of just gives up the kill for free. Yeah, and rival Creed there with three, holding it down for the side of Swift Uprising as they take a three versus zero lead. And uh, we admitted we didn't know much, but I tried calling BIH favorites, uh, but so far mm -hmm. they're a bit behind here. But Yeah, like I said, all you know, we're going based off of uh, gossip here. Yeah. If you... Strictly, if you will. yeah. So I, like record. I said, I just heard through the grapevine that they were a team to look out for. So we will see how this goes. I mean, I think this is another. This is, might be one of the maps that is a bit uh, attack sided because you have the option for the third bomb site. Uh, it makes defending a little tricky. But you know, at this point in the meta, teams may have you know 
pretty well formulated strats where, you know, that's not the case anymore. Oh, Arcane, nice shot, holding down the angle here as Shroni approached. Yeah, and now he's moving over to Garage. Um, now that he knew they were pushing up mid, he might get another pick here. Oh! Ooh. Almost lands that there. Gieb will take out core. 5v3 for the side of Swift Uprising on the defense here. There. He's pinging out the uh, enemy. So actually, breach. unfortunately, this breach here gets tagged like three times. Now he's at 20 HP. It's a mid rush that gets answered quickly by Archmane and Rival Creed. Just he will take out Greed, but he's in a 1v4 and he's a bit low. They're kind of sniffing so, yeah, him out he, here. Yeah, they are. He's just pinned down in this corner. They'll double turn, I believe, here. One, two. They got yeah, a defenders. good play by Arcmane there, patiently waiting for uh, Omen to get into position so they could double peek that instead of going in one by one because he did have the Sheriff, so you are risking, if you're peeking uh, one at a time, that he's just getting the one taps off, even though he was low HP. Yep. Show good patience there. They had three... So they're able to make as much noise as they want, run around corners, as long as they were together in a three-man pretty hard for uh, the BAH player to deal with that. Yeah, so we do, let's take a look at the buys here. It does look like a full buy with an op on both sides. So I'd like to see if uh, Arkman here is going to go wild with this op again. He's playing front door of mid, walking up to too. a smoke here. No fear, he must have information coming from his teammates. Uh, look at look at the spot he's gonna be able to get into with an op here. Oh, they're kind of checking it with uh, wall spray, but they won't tag him. Oh, oh an MEQ, I guess, ready for that play. So I am really curious on what gave away Arcmain's position there. Um, I didn't see any shock darts or uh, recon darts or anything like that. So quite surprising they pre-fired that angle as well as Jet keeping it with their own op. Shroni with a nice kill here, and this looks like a round possibly winnable for BIH here. Is Maybe they can gain some momentum. Eve will take out MEQ. It makes it a 3v3 here. Here comes the Brimstone ulti. Rival Creed. So they're going to need again. to watch their back here. Um, I think she's going to have the angle. Patiently waiting. Does she, does she actually even know they're there? Core with a huge frag on Natino here. Makes it a 2v2. As he will look for a plant. Give me a corpse. Eve will trade back on core, making a 2v1, but he's a bit low. Will he get traded back? I Shroni does exactly trade back now. So this 1v1. is pretty big here for Cypher. He did get I the ult out, so he spike. knows where Omen is, but only going to ult right now to throw him off the scent. <sighs> Omen, oh, what a play! What did he do? He ulted in so there like... He, I think he ulted in his same exact location. I, we didn't catch it on the spectator, but I think he uh, ulted in position. <laughs> to throw him off the scent because Cypher caught him with the ultimate knowing that he was at the top of mid. Omen pops it to give away the audio cue but then just goes into place to throw him off of yeah, you know, where he like, went. And what's what the a, last place you checked? Yeah, after where, exactly ulted. where he was. <laughs> and then he peeks the corner and gets the trade off. Pretty nice play there. I wish we had caught that on, um, on the spectator but well done, Creed. Get out of my way! Cover going out. Omen back up in his spot. I think uh, he gets information from his team to kind of drop down and maybe look to advance. So Gee playing the corner will get taken out by MEQ there. Yeah, and this is what I was talking about with the Jet. She does have alt up now, and it's just a big threat. Looks like, you know, now that she has the alt, she's dropping the uh, Vandal for someone on her team or maybe just trying to style. I don't know, but... Aggressively entering this bomb site here. As they will have control as they look CT in mid. So 5v4, it looks like they have um, full control of Seasight, as well as um, having the uh, Sova here on the flank. Arcman with a nice op kill, but this bomb actually Locking looks pretty sight. locked down to me. Uh, yeah, Omen will look so to go well. through that garage, and 2 will look CT. Sight. One garage, 2 CT is the formation, so their long holder is actually rotating up to help. We're watching Arcmane here, and he will get taken down by Core here. No Sam. And the right wow. click, like I was talking about, up into the air. 
from above with the right click and getting, you know, if you hit that three bullet right click, you know, they're one tap away from dying and it just plays out perfectly for MEQ. People are pulling these classics out like it's A lot. nobody's business. Yeah. And you said they it even got nerfed, so it's kind of still crazy. It just seems like a better option when you run out of ammo, instead of reloading and being so vulnerable and slow, you just hop around and try and right click people with the classic, I guess. Yeah. Um, so did you see here, we do have uh, a little here. bit of info on some of our, oh, you have it as well, some info on our rosters here for future reference. Um, All right. So MEQ here with the op looking to push up in towards garage. They're playing it slow, uh, but looking like it might be a C push. Yeah, and I think this is a big uh, round for BIH here in terms of momentum, getting back in this game. You win the, the sixth round, you go from 5-0 to 5-1. You need to carry that momentum and the econ swing that you get from a round win and look to get yourselves back in this game. Yeah, so Sova tagging, or sorry, Cypher tagging Sova right there, um, spotting them out on the C long. So it looks like they're going for a slow rotate towards A. But um, here, Cypher has a good camera looking at uh, a lobby. So if they start to make the push into A, they're going to be aware and um, Swift Uprising is going to be able to make that rotation before they get onto site, I think. So pretty risky play here. They're grouped. So we do spot him there. He's letting the team know, hey, they're over uh, looking on lobby. So It's a quick rotate out, actually. Yep. So smart play by them, like I said, getting spotted out. Um, now they're on the rotate, and we do still have members of uh, Swift looking over it's towards one A. member on C, the Reyna. Yep, this Geeve is going to be, uh, be swarmed here, I think. He will ulti. He knows this. He gets flash. What can he do in this hallway? I think way. he's retreating because of the flash. He's around the corner. Geeve looking to make a play here. The bomb will go down. He looks hall and loses that fight. Three men go down instantly for Swift Uprising, and it's a re another really nice C play coming out of BIH. It uh, looks pretty locked down to me. We'll yeah, to yeah, so we're looking at a 2v4 now, and I'm wondering if they're going to be able to pull it out. We do see Arcmane and... Um, they're going to save their guns. Natino here. Well, Arcmane looked like he wanted to save his op. Oh. Yeah, Arcmane. If I'm Arcmane here, I definitely want to save my op, so he's just looking for the exit frags here. But he, they are aware that he has an op down on... Um, Okay, so and they're aware definitely gonna definitely gonna be able to get the save off. I wonder if they're gonna look to pressure him and take away that op. We do see uh, breach here on a pretty big flank into a heaven. So if he doesn't stay in sewers, and he does, okay, so yeah, securing that op for next round, pretty smart play there. Kind of what we were saying in the game before. Yeah. We didn't really see yeah. anybody attempting to save uh, doomed rounds. So I think that's just a higher level of play sort of concept of just saving econ and like mm -hmm. the higher level you are the more important it is every gun matters more and yeah it, like 100 percent. a lot of team you know a lot of players or teams don't respect that aspect i mean realistically even in valorant you can get to a pretty a decently high level based off of, uh, if you're a skilled fps player with aim yeah. and uh, little knowledge so And BIH winning that round that I call pretty critical for them, I think um, they just need to keep this momentum going and, and stay creative, right? Because we, we remember last round was actually a look into a, to a quick Z push. So they're going to have to keep this pace up. Sorry, keep I'm swapping through so up. much, but I was curious on what MEQ was um, taking the op shots at right there. I think wall banging. These I think guys. she was trying to walk, so the Reyna was holding that close angle right through garage door yeah. um, the last few rounds, so she was taking the op shots right into the, yep, right there to, um, you know, see if she could spot out or get a tag onto the Reyna. Gotcha. Unfortunately, Reyna holding farther back uh, on C site this round, so none of those going to even come close. Prepare for hellfire! These players with so much experience on these maps are just shooting at the walls just in, in anticipation of certain strategies pretty crazy to see yeah and you know game Valorant game. a game where they let so much not of that wall play actually go through yeah uh, messing up that recon arrow there not getting it over the one for one gravel Kree will get three with a triple headshot here before he goes down to Shroni so it's a 3v2 this looks like possibly defendable as Gee will look heaven now at the right time he takes out Shroni he has a good idea 
of the jet will also go yeah, down. Sponsor, uh, good recon bolt there from uh, Sova, giving vision on the two remaining members of BIH, just making it an easy pickoff for the yeah, and BIH with a nice aggressive, um, they sort of play patient and then strike all at once. Uh, it came out again there, but this time Swift Uprising, a bit more ready, a bit more set up, or hit their shots. And we saw a triple kill from, if I'm not mistaken, if you can tell. Yeah, Rival Creed there with the triple kill. Rival uh, Creed it was. Um, so again, so both teams here pretty... Uh, pretty balanced econing going on here. Um, both teams understanding the importance of saving their money. Uh, so we do see a full buy with an op on both sides. And I see it's one-to-one -one ops, and I think that's been the most common so far in these two games. Uh, it, it used to be multi-op meta, right? Is it yeah, one? Yeah, so it was double-op meta for a while, but I, they have given Breach some buffs here that I think kind of just reduced the Oh, Core with a two piece to enter into the middle site. Maybe getting a third here as he goes and around the corner. Aggressive push. Oh, That's Core, three. 3k. Putting his team on his back. So, Gee, King. And okay. Tristy, that's Stop a flawless right round from BIH. Yeah, well played. Um, hey. So, as I was saying, the op meta was double op meta, but I think they've given players a little bit more to counteract the double op. Um, Breach, actually, he now has three flashbangs in the recent buffs, as well as his ultimate and his fault line, if I'm not mistaken, is his other ability. Um, they, when they hit you, you are no longer able to scope in until the effects wear off, which kind of really, really counters that double op meta, which is why I think we're going to see him a lot more in uh, the rest of the matches today, so we'll see. I know exactly where you are. But we do see MEQ advancing with the op pretty aggressively here. Gonna want to look uh, to that CT angle. That's him as well. It's a fast, uh, it's a fast C push from BIH, and this push from them has worked out in two of their three winning rounds, if I'm not mistaken. But Gee with a nice tap on the scrony, no sand gets arcane. MEQ, we see him with a nice take on no cab, leaving them four v two. With the bomb already planted, Rival Creed gonna have to pull something crazy out here. Wins that fight on Tristy. Finds the headshot. Will he go get his gun? He will. Oh, but gets taken out by MEQ in the smoke. MEQ must have had a hunch. Okay, so 1v2 here, but um, MEQ has the op, so I'm thinking it looks really bad for Reyna here. I think everyone's just gonna look for the save. They will get out, save, let the bomb explode, and take another nice offensive round. So. BIH with the uh, clapback, if I must say. I think the rounds were 5 1 or 5 0, now 6 4. Yep. Yep. Starting to get into their groove, figuring out the defense of Swift Uprising, switching up their attack angles, and finding what works for them. Yeah, so let's take a look and see how this Cypher is going to set up the defense. Uh, we haven't gotten a good look of how he's setting up here, but I think he's setting up with traps on the short as well as long, and then placing the camera for a good look on the long, you know, making sure that they catch them pushing into a lobby before they get on a site. But uh, no camera dropped at all. Oh, okay, Ooh. spicy. That's a nice camera. As we see Cypher solo holding down a arc main. Will it win that op battle? I believe that's both oppers. Both jets with the op. Is that a thing? Jets have ops? Uh, yes. Jet is definitely the opper champ right feet. now because of the ultimate ability. You know, if you're in that situation where you need to clutch and the op might not necessarily be the oh, best true. scenario, you can whip out the op. We saw the breach ulti come down and core takes out rival creed. That's pretty that's huge. I think that's their top frag going down. To start this A, uh, a push here, some flashes, some stuns coming out. Natino takes out No Sam. We're looking at a 4v3. This is definitely winnable. 3v3. Core coming up huge this round. I think he's channeling Ulti out of the box as Natino drops down into hell and takes out Shroni. They're faking the defuse, forcing the peaks here in the long. No cab will take Core. Oh, the aggressive play here. Wait a second. Wow, and now they're going to get the defuse. So a really good aggressive play there by Arkmane. Sees the Sova ult coming out, knows where it's coming from, and just says, 
I'm dashing in. I'm not letting them get all these off. I wonder, it seems like Sova canceled the alt early. I'm wondering if he heard the dash and knew that he was in trouble, so he had to cancel. Yeah, that's crazy that Arkman and the team of Swift Uprising actually sniffed that play out. They're like, maybe Sova's going into his base to just line up this ulti to save bomb. Let's rush there. Everything worked out for them, yeah. and they were rewarded for their aggressive and pretty smart play. So again, um, oh, and we're seeing the Odin pulled out by Core here. Let's get a look at that. Um, look immediately at the wall bus. spraying in the garage. Yeah, he's taking the, the plates down on the doors. Maybe going to look for an aggressive push in the garage. I'm not sure. E picking up Tristy. That's a name I've been seeing on the kill feed pretty often here. As we see MEQ, is this going to be an op battle? Nowhere to run! Sony winning out the fight with Rival Creed 4v4. And Core taking a page out of my book. I was doing this in the first patch of this game. Shroni with a 2 for 1 gets traded by No Cab. 3v2. And is that Omen going to be a bomb defense angle? The Odin? Uh, yeah. Um, I think so. I think he's getting into. Yeah, he was getting into mid-window so that he could be ready and prepared for the defuse there. Okay, gotcha, but just a dismantling of Swift Uprising there. Uh, so I'm sorry, oh, BIH the, there. Now we are uh, round swap, so we do see BIH on defense and Swift Uprising on attack here. So let's see, you know, was the disparity in rounds there due to defense side and map? Uh, I'm not really sure um, if anybody in the chat could let us know, like, the current meta, is it just attack side or defense side of everything? It, it's hard to say. A lot of times in uh, Valorant uh, as well as CSGO, it's really difficult to balance these maps out where mm -hmm. they're not always just defense sided maps. This one being that one in particular, like I said, having the third option for a site right. spreads out the players on defense. Um, but at the same time, a big reason why was the uh, the Sage. You know, you get the Sage wall off and cut off rotation points so like Garage, like um, a, a, uh, a link or B link, and it just puts you in a predicament. But, you know, not seeing Sage on either side. Yeah, and to that point, the less Sage is around, just one big patch could make a map, I think, go from attacker side to defender side. Exactly. And that's what's crazy about it. Uh, a game like Valorant where the maps, you know, the way the maps play out is so important. Now you're throwing in the mix uh, all of these different moves, all of these different abilities. Every tweak and change can just switch everything up. Swift Uprising with a crazy attack here onto the A spot. Trade one for one here, but will the rotate, will the retake come in? No cap picks out, no Sam. It's a, it's a western shootout here with the pistols. Gee picks out MEQ. It's a 2v1. Can Core do it? He can't. We'll go down to Gibe, who was, I'm pretty sure, massive that round. Yeah, Valiant attempt there by Core. It looked like, you know, aim was on there. He did, if I'm not mistaken, get two at the end of the round, um, but couldn't pull it out. He was in a pretty poor situation there at 1v3. But Swift Uprising showing us their A take is uh, pretty mm. strong, too, and I think they could even fake that A take and look for a C as well, because we saw C working for BIH. Maybe that's just a bomb... BIH is comfortable with, or maybe they'll take uh, a page out of BIH's book and do an A fake into a C take with a, maybe a mid rush somewhere in yeah, there. My, my personal preference here is definitely the, the C take. Um, you send two members through God, garage, somebody C long. So we'll see. And um, it's Marshall time, baby. Yeah, we do see uh, oh. the buy is looking pretty good for Swift Uprising here. Um, with a couple Spectres and a Marshall and a Shorty and Pistols on the side of BIH. Arcmain, Resident Sniper, Jet Player. Really interesting to see this kind of evolve into Jets with Ops running around meta. I think that's actually really cool. I like that Jet is playable and competitive yeah. and as we see a yeah, garage and, push. And the strategy that they're playing as well, taking that Marshall on round one and maybe skipping abilities puts them in a position where they can buy an op on round three of the swap. So even if they lose this, we may see an op on uh, the third round of this half for... Uh, but B.I.H. holding it down there. That C-take looked a bit slow, a bit 
flustered. Maybe it was just answered right away and something yeah. that he didn't see. And and to me, I think it, it was something where they should have recognized the weapon disparity and made a little bit more of an aggressive play knowing we have two Spectres mm -hmm. and a Marshal and they have pistols and a Shorty. Uh, it seems like something that if you just aggressively push C long as a team, you maybe are taking that sight with a lot more ease. Playing it slow, playing... The, the corner slow as well gives that opportunity to just get picked off by the classic right click. So you're saying to take advantage of a Spectre difference, you should just be playing a, a rush, a faster. Yeah, okay, yeah, 100%. that makes makes some good sense to me. I'm not sure if. So we see, you know, that round fail, and we're seeing a full save here. And I think the reason is we got 3,200 on Arcmain. If they save this round and um, win or lose, I think he's going to be able to pick up the op. Wow, so Swift Uprising econing an early round of offense to get an op in Arcmain's hands. We're going to have to see what he can do with that. If he can convert on the econ uh, that they're investing into him as Rival Creed, we see we'll take out Tristy here. This guy, Rival Creed, big fragger, big fragger. Yeah, and he gets up his the, uh, out of that play, he's going to pick up the Spectre and give him a little bit of an advantage back to Rival Creed. So let's see if he can beat uh, getting down uh, no Sam. But Kord took no out charges. two before he went down. It's actually a 3 down. 2 for the side of Swift Uprising. We see Arcmane kind of hunting down that Reyna is on his team. Okay, yeah, yeah. that they're was making, they're making it, <laughs> Yeah, it's, so they're making an aggressive rotation over towards A, but um, Shroni here is ready for him. Can he make this play? He does have a phantom, so he's definitely got the... Uh, Oh, he sees two, he turns, he takes one, two, goes for the three, but Rival Creed there, two on point, but M.E.Q. pays yeah, off his... So, uh, so seeing that fa the Phantom in the hands of Shroni was really uh, you know, a scary sight for them. <laughs> uh, pulling up onto that sight with pistols, uh, we didn't see Creed there yet, and he was the one with the weapon. Regardless, he was 4 HP, so I don't think it was going to make a difference in that scenario, uh, but well played for them. Definitely, and our game is pretty even here, eight to seven for the side of Swift Uprising. And the MEQ, we talked about Arkman getting that out, but you'll see he's up on the box. Will yep, these so two he does. duel it out? So we do see uh, ops on both of the jets here. So let's see the op battle. Who wins it? Oh, he tried shoulder peeking there. <laughs> this is crazy. He jumps out. MEQ gets the best of him. I'm not sure if jumping into the hallway is. Well, I'm not even gonna question these guys with their ops. They're they're way better than I am. So. I think trying to shoulder peek and then um, aggressively hop peek. So the, yeah, so the issue there for him was the shoulder peek, the jump shoulder peek. If it drew out a shot from MEQ, then he could re-peek it during the uh, reload animation. Okay. And you know get the get the shot off. So misplay there. If he pulled that shot, then I would have peeked. I think he thought he peeked. Like, I think he thought the shoulder went out, and when he heard no shot fired, he thought it was safe to go out. Okay. Um, but in retrospect, he never even showed, so um, just a misplay there, unfortunate. And at the jump peak, is that, like, testing your skills? Like, if MEQ misses this, I get a look at him? Yes. Great <laughs> here. Two for one. It's a 3v3 for uh, Swift Uprising. Oh, Tristan getting Oh, Tristy is putting in work with this Odin here, as BIH will actually be able to uh, retake that pretty easily. As I was watching, I think some damage did go through with that spray yeah, into hell yeah. there. Uh, he just didn't pick up the kill, but yeah, Tristy with a nice play here. What what is that gun called? I'm sorry. Odin. Odin. Yeah. With the Odin. Um, True. And yeah, so that op play, like we were talking about before, like I think that's a pretty common for oppers. Again, um, when I play Valorant, I'm not Need an op player. Thanks. Mm. Uh, so I don't. You know, I see those techniques being used. I don't know exactly how um, impactful they become in those plays. Because yeah, if you got if you peeked out like that and he had the reactions, you know, he could clip you and still get you anyway. Yeah. Um, but it always getting that quick peek, drawing out the first the shot, gives you that advantage to peek safely. Because if you're the one coming around the corner, Found you them. are always at the disadvantage in an op versus op battle. You have to do something clever, something creative to yeah. get a shot off. As MEQ will take out Geeb now. So MEQ at the end of the day getting a lot of value out of the op purchase there. And I think putting a BIH in a 
to take this game back as Rival Creek coming up clutch, evening the stakes at this 8 to 8 round. Leave it to MEQ and. But now they know there's someone behind that one there. Ooh, Tristan. Fortunately, it's Tristan. With the Odin. No Sam will take out two on the defense here. This looks like a good round for BIH. Arcmane gonna have to pull something crazy out here. He's up against three members. And yeah, they know he is. not looking good for him here. He's got the Stinger and 41 HP against uh, an op and two Phantoms. Uh, so, oh! Yeah, uh, pretty much looking like a doomed round there. But uh, great play from uh, Tristy with the Odin. So he catches the Omen trying to make his TP play into the corner behind the platform. Uh, cancels his back, or cancels the TP, and then... You know, that gives away Tristy's position, but it doesn't matter because when they're pushing him with this weapon disparity, for example, the Stinger, what is a Stinger going to do right. from that range against an Odin? He's able to just clean up two more members after that TP um, cancel, so good play. Tristy making some nice, uh, doing some nice work with the Odin in the last two rounds. Still has it. Let's see what he can pull out here. Deploying drone. So this is a good position for him to be in if he does catch um, someone tagged here. He may or may not be able to get some shots off. Chuck uh, Dart. He at least finds the jet there with that recon drone, and I can kind of call that out to his teammates. Chuck Dart. Looks like offense and defense lined up a bit across the map here. Line of scrimmage, if you would. Yeah, so. Um, Creed's going to have to be careful here. MEQ holding a good angle on mid with the op. Just Ooh. like I said, it uh, wasn't Creed, but it was Eve. And they might rush that op here in the B. So we have rotations in the CT coming from garage angle. No cap will take out core on that rotation. Gravel Creed in a pretty good spot to get a turn here. We'll take out No Sam. Looks for the second in the back. It's MEQ with the op. He answers and takes out Arcmain as well. That's got to be BIH round off the back of MEQ with that close quarters op. Yeah, well played. So now Bomb is down inside of B and it's a 1v3. It's top. Oh, MEQ. So three kills there. He's picking up with the op and really well played. MEQ holding down the like the close quarters of the B site with an yeah, op. Pretty yeah. impressive. Yeah, well played. His shot is definitely on right now. Um, let's take a look at the scores here. So, yeah, you know, playing the op really well. He's 18 and 10, core 18 and 14, Ooh. but rival Creed on the other side, you know, that is their rival. So they're going to have to take him down in these rounds um, and not let him get those aggressive plays where he could pop off. You know, we did see the one round he picked up a triple kill. If he could pull that off again, they could take some rounds back. Definitely have to have eyes on those two, as well as Tristy coming up clutch. We see him shooting out with Silva ulti just to get a bit of information and maybe attack. Core takes out Rival 3. That's probably big, but two for two trade on the board. We see Arcmain looking to do some jet things. There's MEQ tag. Going to have to dip out of there. Pulls out the shot. He goes back to the op. He wants this long look, but it's pretty obvious at this point. Yeah. Will he look anyway? He will. Sees nothing. Yeah, so I think Sova making his way back um, towards A here. Um, holding this A lobby, but I don't think they're going to go there. I think we do see Reyna looking up mid nice and slow. Well, if it's if it were to be an A rotate, that's a nice spot for the Sova. And oh, yeah. worst case, he's late rotate to the B as they're sending their... Feeling I believe that's Breach into the B here. And he will get approached by two. Gieb and his teammate. Gieb will take out No Sam. It's a 2v2. Great play there by Gieb. Unfortunately, Breach activating his ult and then swinging the corner. Um, but it just miss, missed Gieb and he had the blind out. So as soon as Breach came around, he was blinded. Gieb was all all in the clear, never got hit by the ultimate, and just an easy trade for Gieb. I think Gieb's hot right now. I think the play he made, get out of my way. he's looking for a 1v2 here. I think he can do it. He's going to get a really nice look here if he turns at the right time. Oh! oh. He's getting sprayed down 10 HP. He needs to kill him and get his... And lifesteal off him as oh, he... Oh, and Tristy gets him with the shock dart. So, <laughs> kind of a miss. So, we were saying he was looking hot right there, but he is up, you know, two inches away from that wall trying to peek the corner, and that's just a terrible play. The closer you are to a corner, the the earlier you will show before you actually can see. So, yeah. Uh, the earlier your shoulder shows before exactly, your head. Yeah. So, okay. the fact that he was right up against that wall as he was trying to peek, Sova saw his shoulder long before... 
uh, Gabe could get his eyes on to Tristy, and then it was just an easy kill through the wall. Because of the Odin, such high penetration, just sprays, shoots the shock dart up there. Easy kill. Yeah. The wall banging in this game is so much a part of it, isn't it? It really is. And um, especially when you have those champions like Cypher and Sova that can get so much recon information and take those kind of wall bang shots for free. You know, it takes away that uh, level of. What, what's the word I'm looking for? Like assumption. Like they don't have to guess that he's there. Yeah. Um, if they get vision with the dart, then it's just free. It's 5C long, but who else but MEQ takes out Rival Creed to start the round and holds down the long. You can't five man MEQ's hallway when he's up with the op. You have to answer him first with something like a breach ultimate. Make sure he's not scoped in. So. Core will take up Netino, and it looks like a 5v1. No cap. Gets the op out of the hands of MEQ. I'm not sure how much that matters here. But nah, it's it doesn't it's matter at all point. because this team is just going to pick it up True. anyway and get it back. Um, but what we saw there was the shoulder, the jump shoulder pe peak working properly. Shows his shoulder, draws out the op shot, then picks it and kills him. Or then peaks it and gets the shot on MEQ. Well, the uh, you know the delay from in between shots is still. Gotcha. Active. Okay. Yeah, so so well played there by uh, who was that? If I'm, Sorry, so fast. no cap there hard. with a great play. Gets the kill on MEQ, but not going to matter because we still have an op. The hunt begins. And this time it's going to be a fast A play, I think. But already MEQ taking out rival Creed. This guy is just since Him and Core. Every round they're showing up early in the kill feed. Core takes out Natino with the ulti. And man, it's 5v3. They're uphill. BIH. Match point here. Ooh, Core are so on point right now. He's looking sewers. Pre-fire sewers gonna look long here. Into Arc main, who has a bulldog, not an op. Shroni takes out Gib. Arc main can hear uh, MEQ who's MEQ just MEQ with the fucking shorty <laughs> coming around that corner, just <laughs> pop pop. Like it's just too easy. You throw that smoke down and walk up.